హాయ్ ఎవ్రీ వన్ గుడ్ మార్నింగ్ ఐఎమ్ బి జ్యోతి విటి ఫ్రమ్ ఐటిఆర్సి ఏపీఎంఎస్ పెరుమాది విజయనగరం ఇన్ దిస్ లెసన్ వీ విల్ డిస్కస్ అబౌట్ వాట్ ఈస్ కమ్యూనికేషన్ ఇట్ ప్రాసెస్ టైప్స్ ఆఫ్ కమ్యూనికేషన్ అండ్ సెవెన్ సిఎస్ ఆఫ్ కమ్యూనికేషన్ కమ్యూనికేషన్ ఈజ్ ఎ కామన్ ఫినామినన్ యాజ్ సి ఆల్ యాజ్ సోషల్ యానిమల్స్ వీ కెనాట్ లివ్ వితౌట్ కమ్యూనికేటింగ్ ఇన్ నీడ్ వెరీ అటెంప్ట్స్ నాట్ టు కమ్యూనికేట్ కమ్యూనికేట్ సంథింగ్ కమ్యూనికేషన్ ఎంప్లాయీస్ ఆర్ టూ వే of process of transforming information ideas feelings or opinions through a channel between two or more persons either verbally that is through speech or writing or non verbally by way of signals behavior posture gesture etc the pro- the process of communication starts with the communicator or sender who has something to communicate with others which can be idea information fact or anything else thereafter the sender encode the message by selecting the language in which the receiver correctly understand the medium of expression can be speaking writing eye contact facial expression gesture posture etc thereafter the message is developed by the communicator using right set of words and language the message is the main element of the entire communication process the channel impels the career of the message which can be face to face communication telephone conversation video chatting body language letters email facial expression sms tone of voice etc receiver is the person to whom the message directed that is to whom the communicator or sender want to communicate it is very important for the sender to understand the receiver decoding ability interpretation for the effective communication the next step is decoding which in was interpretation by the receiver after decoding the message the receiver will rewarded back to the sender in the form of the feedback it is very important part of the entire communication process as it indicate that there is no discussion of the message for this purpose the receiver look for the channel in the same way as sender communicated to the receiver the communication can be regarded defective when the message received and interpret interpretation in the same sense letter sender intended to convey an effective communication is always receiver oriented rather than message oriented types of communication communication can be classified on the basics basics of channels and basic of purpose basics of channel there are three types verbal communication non verbal communication visual communication verbal communication involve use of the words and language and conveying the information it can be oral communication and written communication oral communication can be into the form of the face to face communication voice chat video calls telephone conversation etc whereas written communication can be in the form of the letters emails sms reports etc non verbal communication is the communication with out the use of words that is communication through body language facial expression posture gestures hand movement tone of the voice visual communication is the one that take place through visual leads that is signs graphics colors typography etc biased on purpose the communication can be classified as formal communication and informal communication first one is formal communication is a one of the flow follow the follow of the defined flow in the message vertical communication horizontal communication diagonal communication lastly informal communication is the casual communication visitors not follow predefined flow in the conveying the message next we will discuss the seven cs of the communication first one is clarity clarity of message is the first and foremost requirement effective communication hence the language used simple and straight forward words second one is correctness the message must be correct in the sense the message must be free from free from all grammatical and spelling errors further the message should be exact and well typed third one is completeness the message must be complete in the sense that the message should be contain all the facts and information required by the recipient fourth one is concreteness this means that the content 
content of the communication must be cognizable that is there must be sufficient evidence to support your argument fifth one is conciseness short and precise message is always preferred so to make the message well understand avoid the use of irrelevant words and details sixth one is courtesy it imp it impels the sender must take into consideration both the feelings and viewpoints of the receiver the message should not be biased and must include the terms and thus show respect for the recipient seventh one is consideration the sender must take into consideration the receiver's opinions knowledge mindset background etc thank you so guys today topic is finished thank you